flag. Now this flag will honor him. Again, on behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Army is a great nation.
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the source of all mercy and the God of all consolation, who comforts us in all our sorrows with the comfort we are, so we can comfort others in their sorrows with the consolation we ourselves have received from God. While the storm clouds gather far across the sea, let us pledge allegiance to this land that's free. Let us all be grateful to this land so may be seated. Welcome to the Old Post Chapel at Fort Myer. I am Chaplain Joanna Forbes. Since the dedication of this chapel in April 1935 by then Major George S. Patton, Jr., nearly every American president and persons of influence from around the world have attended services here have sat in the seats where you are now seated and have paid tribute to our nation's heroes. There is no more fitting place to honor the memory of a soldier than within the walls of this chapel and among the grounds of Arlington National Cemetery. Grace and peace from our Savior Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, the source of all mercy and giver of comfort, graciously tend those who mourn our brother Jesse, that casting all their sorrow on you, they may know the consolation of your love through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. And I said, Woe is me, I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. A seraph touched my mouth with a live coal and said, now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed, and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I. Send me. A reading from John. Jesus said, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Word of God word of life. If Jesse knew before he deployed to Vietnam as a buck sergeant, he would return as a lieutenant, I don't think he told anyone. But then and for decades following, he answered the call to serve our country. 
but he never forgot what it was like to be a young enlisted soldier and took pride in remembering his soldiers' names. After that first time at war, at his welcome home, the first salute he received came from one of his young daughters, for which he rightly gave her a dollar. Born in the beautiful Ozarks, Jesse's eidetic memory was destined to lead him away from the farm. He loved reading World War II history and eventually became part of history. I can honestly say I think the word remarkable does not adequately describe his career. Besides later serving as Deputy Commander of Delta Force and Commander for the 10th Special Forces Group, Jesse earned a Distinguished Service Cross one fateful night in Vietnam. Learning an NVA battalion would soon overrun their position, then Captain Johnson had a helicopter drop him in alone. Alone. At the point of heaviest conflict. And despite being wounded, he remained with his soldiers and ensured they held their position. I'm fairly certain y'all here know more than I about Jesse's service, especially how it didn't even end after he retired from the Army. But through it all, Judith and he spent 63 loving, if sometimes stressful, years together, and she supported him come what may. He adored his daughters, spending as much time with them as possible, and he encouraged them and then his grandkids in education and in any goals they set for themselves. Jesse had a servant's heart and cherished the Isaiah 6 passage I read. In it, the prophet Isaiah describes his calling to serve and humbly and honestly responds, he is not worthy. Yet God reassures him and us that when God calls us, God makes us worthy, fallible creatures that we are, to say, here I am, send me. In the passage from John, Jesus is preparing his disciples for his crucifixion and teaching them what it means to love. Jesus wanted his disciples to live by his love, the love of the Father to the Son, the love where we give of ourselves for the good of the neighbor in need. Jesus' love led him to serve others and ultimately the cross. But death did not have the last word. God rose Jesus from the dead. Through Christ and his life, death, and resurrection, we can rest secure because we belong to God. And because, as Paul says in Romans, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit your chosen people together into one communion in the body of Christ. Give to your whole church in heaven and on earth your light and your peace. Give courage and faith to all who mourn and assure in certain hope of your loving care that, casting all their sorrow on you, they may have strength for the days ahead. Grant to us who are still in our pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith that where this world groans in grief and pain, your Holy Spirit may lead us to bear witness to your light and life. God of all grace, we give you thanks because by his death our Savior Jesus Christ destroyed the power of death. And by his resurrection, he opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Make us certain that because he lives, we shall live also. And that neither death nor life, nor things present nor things to come, 
will be able to separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I invite you to pray with me the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Jesse. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive him into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. Let us go forth in peace, in the name of Christ. Amen. Please rise as you're able. Give us our death. 
Welcome to Arlington National Cemetery. This is the place where valor rests, where since 1864, our nation has rendered highest honors to our fallen warriors and patriots. This is the place which serves as a memorial to all men and women who have answered the call to protect and defend our constitution and nation. This is the place where no plot can be purchased, for each must be earned. This is the final resting place for privates, presidents, sergeants, generals, and Colonel Jesse Johnson. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. and sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God, our brother Jesse, and we commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord's face shine on him with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon him with favor and give him peace. Amen. Rest eternal grant him, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon him. O Lord, support us all the day long of this troubled life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed. The fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and keep you now and forever. Amen. Colonel Jesse Johnson answered our nation's call and served with honor. He courageously fought in the Vietnam War and the Persian Gulf War. And for his honorable service, he was awarded numerous decorations including the Distinguished Service Cross, the Defense Distinguished Service Medal, two Legions of Merit, three Silver Stars, the Soldier's Medal, and four Bronze Star Medals, two for Valor. He is a three-time member of the Military Order of the Purple Heart, signifying he shed his blood in defense of his country. For his honorable service in the United States Army, Military honors are hereby rendered. In life, he honored the flag. Now this flag will honor him. Please rise for the rendering of military honors. Firing part is to your front left, the bugles to your front right.
Jesse's Johnson served as a Colonel of the United States Army. His final resting place is Section 81 in Arlington National Cemetery. The grave is actually way to your uh, far left with the green carpet is grave of 689. Again, I want to extend my condolences for passing your dad and your friend. I want to step aside a moment to give you the opportunity. I think he has some flowers. I'd like to pay your last respects. Um, so don't forget, when you depart, you're just going to go down the end of the road like you drive to the chapel. Then you're going to turn left. It's going to lead you back around. You go in the way you came. Uh, when you get to the stop sign, of this little S to the top of the hill, we call that the yellow line. Uh, the yellow line came in that road. Just turn left and it'll guide you right to the gate. I would suggest that if you lay the flowers, if you do want to go to the grave site, I would drive your vehicles down there. Uh, if you want to stop and, and see the grave, just don't stand on the green carpet. It is an open grave, so uh, you want to do that. So let me step aside and give you an opportunity. Known how accomplished she was because they just gave a general salute. That was all those candidates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they just promoted him to a, a one star. That's awesome. So if you'd like to pass by on your way back to your vehicle, please do so. Just watch your step as you get near the curb. And then again, if you want to go down to the site, it's the green carpet um, on the way out. And um, just be careful if you do stop.
Guy, man. He was an amazing tell you what, I was reading his record. I was like, he was, he was very, very impressive. He was an amazing man. One accomplished soldier. Yes, it was. Beautiful service. 